So let's drive back the car. Going to reverse right now, guys. And let's show you this 360 degrees camera. So right there you can see the car have 360 degrees camera. It has a great resolution. You can see the resolution in the video. You can see the car in the back. It has a great resolution. I like that. Also those button here. You can view the way you want it. You close on this button. Uh, and then you have all kind of information um, about the camera. So right here you can press it and you can see the way you want it, it can help you or not. So I'm, I'm in reverse right now. It's very easy, the steering wheel, it's pretty easy. Also the head-up display, I think you already see it before there or not. You can see the head-up display, the speed limit there, and also the navigation and some information about the cruise control. Anyway, let's park it in the back. It's very simple to park it. You just, I have, okay, how to hold. It's activated, it was not before, so you have to leave the brake first time. But this car have an auto hold, so it's pretty easy to drive this car. It's super easy, and also you can see right there, I want to put it in the drive now. And then even when you put it in the drive in the front, right now I'm driving in the front, uh, you can see the cameras right there. So you can see the front camera, when you go in the reverse, you will see the back camera. So how easy can be that? More than that, it can be more easy than that. So it's pretty, 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 pretty easy to drive it. So super awesome. Also now you can hear the sensors that it's a car in the back. Great. Hello guys and welcome back to a new video today. I'm right here in Bern at Opel Centrum Belvag. Uh, now Mazda come here in Bern. If you are from Switzerland, they changed the, the center from Mazda and from now on in Bern in Wangdorf will be the Mazda as well. So if you want to buy a Mazda or Fiat, you can also find it here uh, in Belvag uh, Wangdorf. So anyway, today I have a great news for you. I have right here with me the brand new Mazda CX-30. So, uh, all-wheel drive, a black, beautiful color right here with me. And I will do uh, a full review, interior, exterior, and I try to show you every single detail on this new Mazda CX-30. So, um, let's do it guys, if you are new on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, I have great new videos uh, in the past with the newest car on the market, so uh, let's do the review and we will talk at the end. So, here is the car, uh, first time I want to show you the key uh, of the car, I think many of you are interested and I like these keys from Mazda, they are pretty interesting, I like the way they put the buttons on the side here. Uh, it's very light key and pretty cool, very easy, you don't feel it in your pocket. Now, um, I like very much this new XC30 because it's like a city SUV. It's small, you can park it uh, almost everywhere and it has also this beautiful nice shape design as all the new uh, Mazda have, for example CX-5 uh, or CX-3 has also this beautiful design also the new full led lamps that you find it on the mazda 3 as well i want to start it for you so you can see it better right now so uh just take a look i don't know if it's it's too much sun now i don't know if you can see it so well but they look actually fantastic also i like the shape of it i like the the black glossy there the way it's looking it's look fantastic also down here you can see it has the new engine sky active g uh, here it's also the address if you want to come to see the car and you are in switzerland also beautiful design in the back on the other side we have the cx30 all-wheel drive so this car it's four-wheel drive uh, as i told you before two exhaust pipe right there they look pretty nice and also um, parking sensors on this um, bumper right here this plastic bumper it's pretty pretty useful because it protects the car in case of scratch you can change it very easily 
also six parking sensors in the back this is also pretty nice and I like also this light reflector here in the night it's very very useful now going on the side of the car we have this plastic here also very very useful to protect the car in case you scratch it uh, they can change it very easy and also you can change it very easy usually the car get a lot of scratch in this area right here and you will need to to protect it but this car you don't have to worry because this plastic you have you can change it very easily so it's pretty pretty useful also you can see this plastic it's all over around the car even in the front even down here on the side so this car it's also a very practical car in my opinion uh, you can see here in the front it has a big big area of uh, plastic so it's pretty awesome uh, to have all that protection around the car there in my opinion it's, it's, it's great anyway going forward also in the front down here on the down bumper we have the same plastic to protect the car also here we have the day LED light they look very nice those lines here uh, they look pretty awesome and then again we have here the parking sensors in the front we have here the first parking sensor so this time in the back we have six parking sensors in the front we have only four four of them so the other one are here on the grill I like the grill the grill look great also I like this bumper with this air intake down there look pretty nice in my opinion also behind this Mazda logo here we have the um, radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that uh, new technology and also the front camera this car have 360 degrees camera so it has a camera right here in the front camera on the mirrors and also one camera in the back uh, other than that I like this chrome design the way they they integrate the chrome here in the body of the car looks super nice in my opinion I don't know what you think about that but I like it very much and I like also the shape of the hood those lines here look fantastic in my opinion uh, it has a very nice beautiful shape uh, this is my opinion I don't know I like it I like the way it look also up here in the middle we have the camera there is the camera for the lane assistance also for reading the traffic speed limit now I want to show you the tires for a moment so the car come with 18 inch tires you can see it right here um, and those rims look pretty nice in my opinion they look quite good they fit really good on the car and I like it I like the black car with uh, so uh, gray rims they look the car look much better with those rims it's just this is my opinion I don't know many people these days like black rims but I like more when the rims are uh, in this gray uh, gray color up here also we have some plastic uh, and then the spoiler up here has an interesting design and the brake LED light up there quite simple and uh, nice design in my opinion also here same like on the Mazda 3 we have this chrome design on the under uh, under part and up here we have some black uh, rubber on the upper side so quite simple nothing fancy going to the mirror we have the blind spot technology on the mirror uh, right there you can see it in the corner the left the right side and LED light as well uh, on the mirror the mirror are very nice they are the same mirrors that you find it on the new Mazda 3 and they look quite quite good uh, now let's go inside the car to show you the trunk I think I show you everything on the exterior maybe not everything this is the camera and also LED lights here in the back so we have automatic lift gate we have the button right here you have to press the button and uh, we have automatic lift gate uh, in the trunk also the button for lock the car and open the trunk it's right there some plastic here uh, nothing fancy also you can take this down if you want it very simple just like that you can take this out and you can carry bigger items because this car it's a hatchback so you have plenty plenty of space here 
uh, if you want to carry your things uh, there it's very simple and let's go to the trunk to see how much space we have here and the entrance in the trunk we have some plastic to protect this down part right here uh, and then we have like five six I don't know maybe 10 centimeter here deepness so it's not a flat floor here we have a small space in the right small space in the left some hooks here on the side also there you can open only this part or only the big part you don't have a middle seat where you can carry long items let's see what it's under the floor we have the Bose system ah, great great sound system the Bose and a lot of space here to leave your repair kit and all that stuff triangle and all that things let's fold down the seats guys right now let's go inside the handle I think you already know it uh, these handles are also on the model on the uh, Mazda 3 um, they look quite good in my opinion they have a very nice shape pretty beautiful shape uh, like the Mazda have also like uh, like it has a very nice aerodynamic if you look at the car uh, in this way so let's go on this side it's very simple push the button same system as on the Mazda 3 and I think same quality uh, seats here we have an LED light in the trunk so just remember that if you're wondering what kind of light it's in the trunk so let's fold down the seats here to see how much space is with the folding seat so right now I'm folding all the seats and we have almost a flat floor here uh, my impression is that you have a huge space right here it's quite a big space uh, for a city SUV it's much more space in this Mazda CX-30 than in the Hyundai Kona for example also up here we have LED lights on the roof the same as on the Mazda 3 and also the handle with the hooks there are also the same uh, some speaker here in the back on the pillar I think you can see it on the pillar there we have some speaker and also some space here where you can put your stuff under the seat it's pretty awesome uh, very practical let's close the trunk right here press the button and the trunk uh, will close very simple just like that and then let's go in the back let's fold back the seat very simple two seconds you have to sit back here in the middle as well as in the Mazda 3 we have two cup holders leather very good quality leather and other than that it's it's very um, I feel a little bit uh, sad because usually it you should be able to carry long items in the middle there but I think this is not a problem I never carry long items in the middle I don't know why I say that but maybe for some people uh, this will be a problem for me it's not here we have leather all leather back of the seats this is something that I like it this is a great thing also I like the fact that this window in the back it's from one piece uh, and you have good visibility we will go inside in the moment to show you that also this rubber here it's great because protect the car uh, from the noise road noise when you drive on the highway for example also great quality here on the doors in the back very good quality here we have leather on the down part uh, here we have some plastic here and on this side and also the handle and then here this beautiful leather and soft material I like the stitches it's looking nice and also the buttons and this this glossy plastic there look super nice I like it also a speaker here both speaker and some storage space in the door uh, the doors look nice nothing fancy but pretty nice here we have some plastic at the entrance and also the other thing that I like usually the car have plastic here but this car uh, this on this Mazda CX-30 they chose to, to go with the seats all the way uh, to the edge here and then when you stay in the back you have this side support you can see there the side support is pretty good and you have great comfort and those seats I have to tell you Mazda make great seats so it's a combination of comfort and sportiness because these seats are not soft but not hard so it's kind of middle so uh, they are perfect for long trip and also for sport driving uh, or off-road for example and the, the quality of the seats it's pretty amazing uh, you have to go and test it and see it 
it's very good. The quality of the seats, it's fantastic. Um, just as an information, here in the middle we have the vents, two vents. They feel good as you touch it, good quality. Other than that, some plastic and a big, big step in the middle. Quite big step, but let's go inside to see the space. Space on my legs, it's huge. I have huge space on my knees. Uh, as you can see, no problem. And I can also stretch my legs under the front seat. Wow, this is amazing. I don't understand the way they make the car because this time I feel like I'm sitting in a in a very tall car. You see, right now I have all the the all the way here up here the seat. So I have a very 19 degrees uh, position in the car. So this is great for the for the long trips because I can stay relax with my legs other than that huge space on my head and those seats are very comfortable I like the seats very much also the quality of the roof it's quite okay it's quite nice um, handle hooks here also the visibility on the windows it's okay not the best but pretty good here in the back you can see you have still a little windows here it's quite nice, I like it. And I like the fact that I have huge space on my legs. I can even stretch my legs under the under the seats there. And you can even carry things, for example. This is pretty crazy because you can put something here. It's so big that you can even carry things there if you don't have space in the trunk. You can put it here under the front seats. It's quite crazy. I like that. This is a plus. Let's go in the middle. Going in the middle, pretty easy. A lot of space on my legs, even down here. Let's close the door because the sun comes inside. So a lot of space on my legs. You can see this 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 seat it's in normal position, normal driving position, and this seat it's too much in the back. So you can see the difference here. I have four fingers, but my head space it's still good, still very good. Four fingers, oh, no problem. I can go a little bit in the front. And then I have plenty of space. Even in the left side, right side, uh, I have still a lot of space for free people here. Not for long trips, but for short trips, medium until 500 kilometer. It's no problem at all. So let's go in the front, guys, to show you the rest of the car. Uh, here we have a beautiful uh, armrest with leather. Uh, kind of brown leather, brown dark leather, it looks beautiful. Also the same brown dark leather, we have it right there on the dashboard. I don't know if you can see it from here. Right there it's the same brown leather. It looks beautiful and also continuing on the doors. We will go now in the front and I will show you. And the dashboard is the same dashboard as on the Tesla, uh, on the Mazda 3. Same, same dashboard as on the Mazda 3. The quality is amazing. I love the dashboard. Much better than Audi, for example. Uh, the quality is much better. Um, this is my opinion. Let's go in the front. Let's show you the rest of the car. And I also like the way you hear when you close the door. So, it's, it's, it's quite good. The quality is pretty good. Also, big windows in the front. Great visibility great quality right here on the doors you can see we have soft material uh, all over here on the upper side we have a speaker right here on the a pillar great quality leather brown leather right here on the door the same as I told you it's continuing right here on the dashboard you can see it here it's pretty awesome uh, it's not leather but it's kind of a rubber here rubber brown rubber super nice i like when the the the, the, the car manufacturer improvises improvise and for example you your first impression it's leather when you look but when you touch it's like a rubber with a nice stitch there and i see many cars with for example plastic in other colors why the plastic have to be black why they why it have to be another colors if you see my other videos with the mercedes a-class cabriolet you see that all the plastic inside the car are blue and it's super nice it's, it's give you a nice impression uh, anyway let's go forward beautiful here on the on the doors uh, we have the same material as on the dashboard so it's no leather we have leather only here here it's really leather and also here we have leather so down here we have leather around the 
the center console here leather and on the dashboard we have this rubber soft material in the brown color super nice it's look fantastic i love it i love the way they make it and also both speaker you can see here the logo the speakers are here some black glossy material also here we have the leather great quality here on the doors the buttons with the chrome design super nice and fancy a lot of storage space down here and i guess uh, that's the door i like it very much my impression is that it's super nice electric seats as expected uh, also even the carpet have there the logo cx30 uh, from from the car name here we have a storage space same as on the uh, mazda 3 the seats are amazing i told you this before but i love it very much and i like the the way they look and i also love the way they feel when you sit on them side support even here so the combination it's perfect between comfort and sportiness down here we have the button saving position for the electric seats even up here we have some buttons for different uh, cameras and all that stuff i will try to show you in the moment the vents it's nice and fancy good quality also chrome design around there uh, also this already know it let's go inside the car guys here we have a vent on the A-pillar handle up here. We have also here an LED light on the mirror. The LED light is super fancy. I love the way it looks. And here I like the fact that you have a glass support, SOS button, some microphones there. Here we have the LED light. Yeah, it's same like on the Mazda 3, this Mazda CX-30. It's pretty awesome. Also the mirror it's super fancy and it adds these sharp tiny edges look fantastic um, now uh, let's continue what can I show you first the dashboard so first time let's show you the dashboard so we have soft material everywhere here leather so you can see you have everywhere soft and nice uh, the layout of the dashboard it's perfect you have a great visibility from 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 this part from the driver part of view side of you here it's fantastic visibility also on the windows and even in the back great great visibility guys there in my opinion it's fantastic the visibility is super good even though you have to remember that this car have 360 degrees camera great quality even here you can see the seats the leather here it's pretty awesome this you can you can also adjust this center armrest here so you have to pull it push it in the back again you have like free position of adjusting uh, and then you can open it just like that and you have a huge space here same as on Mazda 3 same space uh, it's pretty big space also on USB port 12 volt port right here pretty awesome uh, I like that I like that this space it's huge I love it also you can adjust this and you can make it the way you want it um, here in the middle we have the electric handbrake auto hold some beautiful glossy black plastic with chrome design around here and there we have the controllers for the multimedia system right here the multimedia it's right there in the front um, it's look nice it's in the perfect perfect side of you while you're driving it's in the perfect view um, but it's not a touch screen you have to know that doesn't have a touch screen right there you have to control it from here but it's pretty easy because you have all kind of shortcuts and I will show you in the moment media navigation and shortcuts and you can adjust the wheel the way you want it sport mode or off on also beautiful layout here you can see the the LED when the stick is in the driving and on the when the car is starting so it's easy to use also you can open here two cup holders storage space right here in the front and then up here we have one USB again very useful then the buttons for the heating seats blinkers start stop engine uh, navigate uh, navigation this is the climatic system right there uh, that you can adjust it the way you want it and then the other vents it's right here on the side and then 
uh, the vent on the other side, from the passenger side, continuing right here on the downside. Interesting the way they design it, the way they lay, lay out these uh, buttons. It's pretty, pretty cool, in my opinion. So, now that I show you almost everything, let's start the, the engine, for example. So, oh, this I have to close this and then let me close Here is the climatic system. Let me put it a little bit lower now. You can hear even the engine um, So like I say guys um, You can hear the the noise of the of the engine. It's not so loud. So the insulation of the car is pretty good they did a great job with the isolation of the car. Now you can see the dashboard right there from the steering wheel. The steering wheel is pretty nice. Uh, as you know on Mazda, they make great steering wheels. And also it's very soft uh, as you touch it. There you can see in the, in, the, um, in the glass also the car front with a day LED light. But uh, anyway, let me show you these buttons here. So those buttons you can control different function you have also uh, you can speak on the telephone and all that stuff I don't want to go into detail but this button right here info button you can change the layout of the cockpit so it's pretty cool that in the middle there you have a digital cockpit in the middle but on the side you have kind of a classic cockpit analogic the speedometer and also the the gas and all that stuff are right there on the um, right side you have the clappers if you want to change the gear manually for example right here and um, yes this is the I, I think you already know it there you have also the speed you can see the car can read the speed limit uh, it has a camera right here up and he can read the speed limit and then um, yeah, let me show you the, the, the screen so you cannot touch the screen you have to control it from here But it's very responsive the screen. It's one of the best. Uh, I love it It's super cool and super easy to use even the navigation. It's fantastic um, You have Shortcuts button here so you can go to communicate you have settings of the car navigation entertainment information about the car fuel efficiency uh, the car stat owner manually you have even here like on the Tesla here you can see the flow uh, in the battery uh, because this car right here uh, it is a hybrid so it has a, a battery inside there you can see the flow the way the energy flow inside the car and also when the cylinder are deactivate or active so it's pretty awesome to have all kind of information right here and then you can see the vehicle status information next service maintenance and all that stuff it's very easy to use uh, this entertainment system here radio and all that stuff communication you can connect your phone to the car pretty simple navigation as well uh, I don't want to go into detail the navigation it's very good uh, and it's very responsive uh, and then the settings of the car where you can say and change different things sensors sounds safety settings uh, for example adaptive cruise control and all that stuff collision view monitor and yeah I don't know I don't want to go into detail um, you understand what I mean vehicle settings connectivity settings and all that stuff is very simple it's the same as on the Mazda 3 uh, Mazda 6 30 have the same system but I love the navigation I love the way uh, you can see it from the driver point of view it's pretty awesome and I also like the engine now guys uh, I'll go before actually before I go outside I want to end up this video right here. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and then uh, I will make a round about the car with the video and then you can see the car exterior and you can hear the noise for a little bit. Uh, but before that I want to tell you, I want to thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you didn't subscribe, just subscribe now and uh, you will see all the new videos new cars that come on the market i will review it and i will show you 
every single detail on the cars. If you want to see a test drive with this Mazda, uh, with the new Mazda CX-30, please write me in the comment, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends and uh, thank you very much again for watching my videos. Uh, my impression about this car, it's, it is a great car, a uh, perfect city SUV, a lot of great comfort. I like the seats, great quality. I like the layout here on the dashboard. Uh, I like the, the space in the back, it's pretty good. Um, and also in the trunk and also all that multimedia system and all that safety settings are awesome. And I feel good in this car, it's easy to drive. Big mirrors, great visibility. The price is even good and also the exterior design, it's awesome and very practical. Don't forget about these plastics around the car that protect the car from scratching. Uh, if you scratch the car, uh, you have no problem because you change this plastic very easy. But in other cars that doesn't have this plastic around the car will be a problem because when you scratch it, you have to repaint it and it's much more expensive and then the car is no more new it can rust and all that stuff plastic doesn't rust so it can last lo longer good I go thank you for watching guys let's go out let's show you the car and let's hear the engine for a bit and then I see you in the next video thank you for watching and see you soon guys bye You can even hear now the, the, the sensors when I go around the car. And for example, the noise of the engine, it's, it's very, very, very low. Also the day LED lights. We have full LED lights in the front here. It's pretty awesome. It looks great. And also here, down here, the LED lights. Super awesome. Great. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I like the wrong crew. The, the rims, they look nice. Thank you for watching, guys. And I wait you next time with the new videos. So don't forget if you are from Switzerland. You can come at um, Opel Center, Mazda Center in Bern, Belvag, um, Auto. They are great. They have also the website here. You can check out the cars. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you soon. Bye.